hey, a few months ago, I released a video on YouTube that detailed an exhaustive test looking at the quality of getting text on images. Because not every image model, AI image model, is great at getting text on images. And so I did this exhaustive test. This video right here is an update to that because I've added two new image models to this test. Quen, if I'm saying that correctly, Q-W-E-N, and then also Seedream 4. There's a link to this test. To, it's a canvas sheet, essentially. There's a link to this in the description down below. When you click the link and you get here, you don't even need to log in to view this. When you get here, you can look around and check this stuff out. You can zoom in. And these are all like super high quality images. They're at the original resolution, so very high quality. But Canva only lets me display 300 images per page. That's why you need to click this pages icon over here. And you'll see four different pages with all of the different images on here. So make sure you're checking out all the different pages. Let me explain how this test works. So you scroll up to the top, to just get some details about this. I generated all of these inside of my AI writing software called ZimWriter. You can learn more about it here. You can plug in all of your API keys into ZimWriter and just generate your images at cost. Whatever those providers, whether it's Runware or Fal or Google charges you for, for those images. I also have a bunch of free courses that you can read about up here. Now, here's how you read this test. Each column is a different prompt that I ran against all of these different image models. So, so this, this prompt right here, you can zoom in and see. This is like a prompt that said, make a this image with the words zesty Latin inspired Thanksgiving turkey recipe. I give some details about it. So I ran this identical prompt on all of these different image models and you can compare the quality of them and also the creativity of them. And I did three tests for each model because sometimes those models are going to screw up. They're going to have like typographical errors or things like that. So by doing at least three, three tests per model, you can get a better feel for how good is the text. Was it missing any words? Are there any misspellings? And then also how's the creativity? You might get one one image that's pretty creative, but then the other two are not creative at all. Like this, as an example, High Dream Fast, that's creative. And these look bland over here. So that's how you should kind of look at this test. And then each row, so each column is a different prompt. This is a prompt for this column. This is a different prompt for this column. And then each row is the identical image model across these different prompts. Right here, we have Ideogram 3 Quality, this entire uh, row right here. So you can get a feel for how this particular model does with different types of prompts. And again, all of these prompts are for the situation of getting text on an image. These are the same models, but again, just different prompts. So check it out at your leisure. And now let's just look really quickly at these last two image models and see how they fare. So we added Quen and then also Seadream. High level, I'm not too impressed with Quen. It's supposed to do a good job at rendering text. But I've noticed that there's a lot of spelling errors with the model. And then you don't get the realism that I would expect. So here's this Pinterest style image with a turkey on it. This is like a rubbery, real fake looking turkey, right? Whereas down here with the Sea Dream 4, we got a very realistic looking turkey. So I've noticed that a lot. Here's fiery Nashville, hot, ruckin', good, that good recipe. Like it's all spelled wrong. It's supposed to be fiery Nashville hot chicken recipe that burns good. Right. Now, there are some times when it does a good job, like over here, it did a pretty decent job. Family rules, stay humble, show kindness, count blessings. So it will do a good job on certain things, but on other things, it just really fails. And then Seadream 4 is great. I think Seadream's not only a great substitute for Google's banana model. And by the way, the reason I did not put banana in this test and I have not added banana to my AI writing software ZimWriter is simply because banana only generates one by one aspect ratio images. So it defeats the purpose if you're trying to generate in bulk images for Pinterest, because you're just gonna get one by one aspect ratio, which is kind of useless. Maybe on Facebook or Instagram or something, one by one would be okay. But in general, that's very, very limiting. Sea Dream has all kinds of different aspect ratios. And not only that, they don't just have high def, they have 2K and 4K uh, uh, resolutions available also. And right now, for whatever reason, the pricing does not change even when you scale up the resolution. So I integrated this into my software, ZimWriter, and it's three pennies per generation. So I'm really enjoying what Sea Dream is generating. It's, uh, it's very high quality. I'm noticing great results on the text spelling. It's not always perfect. So this is supposed to, they're both over here supposed to have fiery Nashville hot chicken recipe that burns good. Got this one right. 
it left out some words over here, but at least it's spelled right. All right, over here, this looks really good. We have a photorealistic looking turkey and we have some, some spelled correctly words. And it, these turned out very well right here compared to Quen, like very, there's a lack of creativity here. Whereas down here, it looks very creative. So you can look through these. This looks very realistic right here. Whereas this, you can tell this looks a little fake. It looks very realistic. So I won't go through all these. You can check it out at your leisure. Drop a comment down below what you think is best. I would be interested to hear that. There's a lot of people who are just going and using Ideagram 3 because Ideagram 3 is pretty darn good, but it's nine cents an image. So Seadream 4 is three times cheaper. So that's definitely something to, to consider as you're generating your images. Plus, Seadream is like Banana in that if you go to Runware, for instance, their actual UI on their website, runware.com, or maybe it's runware.ai, I forget. You can upload your own images and then create some kind of remixed or mashup of maybe you, you upload an image of the new iPhone and I upload an image of myself and then you can say, make me holding the new iPhone and it will merge the photos together. So it can do that. I don't have that integrated into ZimWriter because it doesn't fit within like kind of the use case that ZimWriter is designed for, but you can do that with Seadreams. So I would like to hear how you guys are using this. Again, the link to this, this canvas sheet is in, in the description down below. Check it out at your leisure. Other than that, hey, good luck with your content and your image generation and I'll talk to you later.